I would say the guy that just shocked you, Ken Norman. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Ken Norman. <laughs> Snake. Snake. He ain't seen funny. He's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Different funny. <button. laughs> it was on fire, getting the ball every time. Welcome to my tour of Ken Norman's abandoned mansion. Norman had a 10 year NBA career where he played for the Milwaukee Bucks, the Atlanta Hawks, and most famously the Los Angeles Clippers. And in my tour, I'm gonna go over sort of the history of the property and what makes it such an interesting structure. Now, when Norman bought the property, there was already a house on it, but he decided not to tear it down and instead decided to build his mansion around it. And some structures, like the fireplace you're about to see right now, are actually part of the original home that was there first. I wonder how they spray painted that. <laughs> What you're seeing is the result of Norman refinancing the home a total of eight times since he first owned it, the most expensive being Literally, yeah, it's it's all tile. Oh shit, dude. I kinda wanna see where those stairs go. Oh yeah, it's flooded. Oh Look my that. wait. Dude, wow. That's a raw ass picture. It's right up to this step. Spray paint cans under here. The house is actually a part of undesignated Cook County. So while many locals consider the structure an eyesore, they really can't do anything about it. <laughs> somebody, somebody spread and we're about to enter the master bedroom here and You'll be able to see there's a blanket on top of some carpets. And we found some more things later on in the video. Let's show some people might have been living here. So if you're ever gonna check it out, just, just be careful. <laughs> Also, this shower is just my favorite. It's unbelievable. Found another bathroom in here. Property could have possible freeze damage. Date one twenty seven eleven. I would think so. Maybe. I don't know. It's a little tight. It's a little tight for my liking, but I'm just gonna send it. Well, this must have been like a girl's room. It's all awesome. pink. Yo, there's a person in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh shoot. shoot. Oh, everything in here is made of some like nice ass shit. Like this is marble. Like that's crazy. And this is like the girl oh, granite. Thing. That's what I meant, granite. Even if there was no graffiti, the walls, the colors, they're just absolutely bizarre. I mean, it, it looks like Nickelodeon Studios. <laughs> Look 
at his front yard. It's all brick up until the gate. That's crazy. Now, the most recent owners actually tried to renovate the place, but once they started digging deep and saw how bad it actually was, they threw that plan out. So that's why you can see in parts of the video just construction equipment just lying around. So you check around the whole room first before you do anything. Guess this is the wolf's den. Shout out to JJC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just sketchy as Oh well. shoot, is that a sleeping bag? That is a sleeping bag. Wow. Got some bleach. Some hoses, so a glove, paintbrush. Yeah. Yep, that's flooded. That's an actual full Capri Sun. No. This is an actual Capri Sun. Bro, that's probably from like oh my. six or some shit. I need, I'm gonna take it out. Yeah, let's take it out. Yeah, of course. Oh my gosh. Strawberry Kiwi. Fortune Gold. <laughs> wow. It's sealed. Wait, look at the date on it. What's, when's the expiration date on the back? Wow, August 13th, 2008. So that's the expiration date. So that <laughs> means this thing's from like 2007. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. This is his driveway. Now, Dave Ward, the superintendent of the golf course right behind the property, he was actually good friends with Norman and must have been sad to see him go and just see the house just fall apart. Like black stained glass. That is the master bedroom right there. Yeah. After checking this place out in person, I can really begin to appreciate how Amazing this must have been back in 1989. I really enjoyed checking it out, and I hope you really enjoyed watching it.